Hello there. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to be going over how to have hats sitting on top of your dresser, or on top of tables, or even sitting on the corner of chairs, or just casually sitting on the floor. Let's get right into this. Starting off, what we need to do is we need to go to our customize. We're now going to go here, we're going to go to our search, and I'm going to be doing using a cowboy hat. So let's search up cowboy hat, and let's use this cowboy hat. You also maybe you want to have no glasses on if it's something like a visor like me, so I'm going to turn my glasses off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our watch, go to our backpack, and press make a pen, grab our make a pen, press open palette, go to props, dynamic, then on the second page of dynamic there's a holotile projector. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the holotile projector, and then we're going to record ourselves. But we have to stay as still as possible. Now we've recorded our holotar, as you can tell I'm still as anything. What we're going to do now though is we're going to go back to our maker pen, open our palette again and go to gadgets. On the math chips there will be the variable chip. Place on our variable chip, select wire, and wire that to the green. Now we press configure, configure the variable chip, change the R signal to 1. Changing the R signal to 1 will allow it to play infinitely. Now what we shall do now is we can select, configure the holotar and we can hide the holotar projector so that disappears. Now don't worry about the body, what we're going to do now is we're going to select our move tool, we're going to select the holotar and drag it into the closet or the wardrobe. So drag it in till the holotar is hidden and now we just raise it up, hello there you see the head, just bring it down just so you can't see the hair. Maybe scale it up if you wish, so maybe scale it up a bit, if I want. Rotate it a tad to hide other parts of the body and then just bring it down. Keep rotating until you think it looks suitable. Maybe rotate it a tad like that. Since I'm using grid snap I'm going to turn it to snapping off so I can sort of smoothly move it. Move Now I just move this up a tad like that. Maybe slide it a bit more to the right. A bit more near in the edge. Oh, bit of the fingers poking out. And now if I drop it, hopefully this variable chip works. There you go. And now we just have a hat sitting on top of the dresser. If today's short video helped, why not give it a thumbs up? Maybe subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.